Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Please like the videos, comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around to join the tribe. Um, anyways, the first thing I heard right before I hit record, I'm sitting down and the energy was control yourself. There's someone, and I don't know what this is about, if it has something to do with an argument of some kind, um, like saying something without thinking and it could create an argument or I don't know, someone might get upset because of something someone says, but I feel like regardless of why this person's upset or why you'll be upset, I don't know, someone feels like they're being targeted. So it could be with hearsay and stuff, but regardless of being targeted or not, because I don't feel like you're targeting anyone, someone could be targeting you, but um, control yourself, control your anger, don't fly off the handle, because something, some information is coming, coming your way, um, someone's going to say something to you and you might take offense to it or get pissed off, um, or they might get upset over some, some information that's headed their way. I don't know who this is or what it's pertaining to just yet, but, um, it could have something to do with friends as well. So there could be like, it's not really a friend rivalry. It would be, maybe someone's going to get pissed off at a friend of theirs. You know what I mean? Or, or mad, mad about something that was said. Cause I have some friendly energy here. So I don't know. Someone might get mad at a friend. Or you might get mad at a friend for saying stuff, for saying something, saying something, doing something, whatever this is. Control yourself, apparently. Uh, make sure you don't flip out. Um, and don't escalate the situation if you're not the one that's going to flip out. <laughs> we have fireworks. Could have something to do with New Year's. Uh, New Year's is coming up. You know, Christmas is right around the corner and then we're going to be moving into the new year. But this... I don't feel like this argument is going to take place on New Year's. Like New Year's Eve or New Year's or during a celebration. I don't feel that. Because it's making me think of like New Year, New Me. You know, uh, starting fresh, starting over, uh, making changes because everyone does resolutions and all that. But regard, regardless of your New Year's resolution or what's to come, it's making me like feel like changes, making changes. So some changes that are being made or some changes that are happening might upset someone. Um, it could have to do with a relationship for some of you. So there could be someone around you who might get a little upset if you connect or reconnect with another person and move forward romantically with them. Um, it could be like friends turning to more. But regardless of who this person is to you, there, if you do move forward with love, there is someone who's going to be upset about it. Um, this has something to do with years. So I don't know if it's been a long time coming. The situation's been going on for years. Maybe you've um, been like drawn to a specific person for years. I don't know. The situation has like been building up for years. Something's been building up for years. It doesn't feel like resentment or anything like that. It just, I don't know. It's like a build up to this climax or something to the fireworks show to the grand finale. The grand finale is at the end. That's, you know, it's just like, ooh, all the bombs go off and it's all beautiful and like, oh my gosh, and then it's over. And then it's over. That feels like, I don't know what that feels like. With What's over? All right, let's see. I want one of these real quick. What is this about? It's like, oh, this is all wonderful and then boom, done. The moment has passed. What? Everything that led up to this moment, whatever this moment is, whenever it happens for you, because this hasn't happened yet. It's like all this stuff led up to this one, this specific moment, this opportunity between you and whoever this person is. And it almost feels like everything led up to this moment and then 
and then it was gone. Did somebody miss the boat? Did everything led up to this moment and now it's gone. There's regret in here. It also has something to do with someone's work. So I don't know if they just work a lot or if their work is significant in the situation. Maybe you guys work together. I don't know. But, um, and you can work together with another person in many different ways. You know what I mean? It's not just career wise. Owl. Good advice from a wise person. I just, I want to say, I don't know how to make this work. How, how are we going to make this work? How would we make this work? There, there's some change coming in that might end up being difficult for someone. I don't know if it's going to be difficult for you, all parties involved, or this other person. Because it's making me think of love. You know, when, say, somebody's interested in you and uh, maybe they've been trying to get with you forever and you just you friend zone them or something whatever the circumstances are tied to that situation if someone is interested but I feel like for some of you you might end up moving on with somebody else and whoever's interested is going to be upset and I almost feel like there's advice going around with different people in different situations you know like whoever's uh, wanting to be with you and it hasn't worked out they might be seeking advice from somebody else going well how you know how would we make this work I need you know I want to be with so and so or whatever how would this work they're getting like relationship advice or something but how would this work because of your life and their life regardless of the external person who's potentially interested in you because I feel that in there for someone it's almost like, how would we make this work coming together? So there could be distance between you and this person. But if there isn't distance, it's like life circumstances. So whatever's going on in your world is very different than what's going on in their world. And it's almost like when our worlds collide, um, how, how would it mesh? You know, how would my life and your life mesh with whatever's going on? But someone is interested in you. They're just kind of, they've taken like a back seat to the situation probably because of whatever their circumstances are whatever they're dealing with or whatever you're dealing with or both because there's a lot going on in this energy it feels like I'm being pulled in a million directions so some of you can be very busy and you just don't have time to date or whatever maybe they don't uh, maybe neither one of you do so it's almost like well how the hell would this work anyways you got all this going on I got all this going on how how that what um someone's trying to figure out how to approach you to either not miss an opportunity or to create an opportunity for you two to reconnect or it feels like a reconnection but they just don't know when how is it pointless would we have the time I, I don't know it's something like that someone's heavily thinking about their their own circumstances or your situation whatever's going on with you all right, so let's see. Use your head in this situation. You know, because I, I like to say follow your heart because it's like follow your instincts, your intuition and stuff. But sometimes, especially if feelings are involved, like if you have a lot of feels for whoever this person is, it can fuck up our better judgment because... You know, those lovey feelings take over and, and we don't make the best choices sometimes. It just depends. Um, don't let anyone cross the line with you because we have boundaries here. Invasion of boundaries. So it's like you do head over heart versus heart over head kind of thing. So really think, think things through so that there isn't an argument. So that there isn't a problem. Something significant to do with gum. Does somebody chew a lot of gum or something? Um, I don't know what that is. It just showed up. But really listen to yourself and use logic and reason over feelings. Because this feels like it could be a very emotional situation. No matter who this person is. Like, 
whether it's external one or multiple people, it, this just feels very emotional. So you can be very emotionally connected to another person or you're just very empathetic and you pick up on other people's feelings and emotions anyways. But it feels like, I don't know, someone's feelings are going to get hurt and they're going to get mad over it because I want to say whoever this is going to resonate with, you don't want to hurt anyone. So you're not intentionally setting out to cause problems or upset anyone or whatever, you know. Sometimes it happens because people get hair across their ass or whatever. But there's some type of emotional tie like whatever you're going to say and do, however you're going to move forward or make whatever these changes are, is going to upset someone else. And that's not your intention, but it, it feels like it's going to happen that way. Because the past is returning. There's someone from the past who wants to work. They want to work with you. It could be romantically, but it's also like work. There's someone from the past. It could be someone you did work with, but at one point, no matter how major or minor that that collaboration was, you know what I mean? No matter what it was, but this is somebody, somebody from the past is coming back and it could cause some fucking problems. Because they want to heal something between the two of you. Aren't we in the retrograde energy? So that makes sense. Healing from heartbreak. Yeah, somebody wants to right a wrong or something. But, I don't know. It feels like there's an external person who's going to get butt hurt over that. Like, you're fixing shit with who? You're accepting their apology. You're friends with them. You're dating them. You're doing whatever the hell this is. Like, what? That's not... That's not what this person, these people or person expected. This is going to come right out of left field. I just heard somebody's haunted by the way that they treated you. Because they probably hurt you and they're bothered by it. Like you didn't deserve that and they're reflecting. So someone's reflecting on a painful situation. They're feeling shitty, but that person's returning they have something to say and i don't feel like they're like you're gonna fight with whoever that is i don't feel like you're gonna be like mm, whatever i feel like there's somebody else who's gonna get mad because this is coming back around like i thought you were fucking gone you know that kind of thing I thought you're out of my life or i i don't even feel like it's coming from you it's like i thought you're out of so-and-so's life i thought you didn't like so-and-so i thought blah, 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 whatever and then whoop, there they there they are and it's like well, you just snuck in there, didn't ya? Yeah, my ear's ringing. Whoever this is, they were hiding something from you in the past, and I don't know, they, they did hurt you in some way, whether it was verbally or, you know, rejection, whatever it was, they upset you, they broke your heart. But they're taking their mask off, so when they do return, this person is going to be uh, telling the truth, basically. They're going to show you... I just heard they're going to show you the softer side of themselves. So this person could have been very rigid. Um, like, non, non-emotional. You know, King of Swords type energy. Or even King of Pentacles. Because he's not always very lovey-dovey. He's more like a practical. You know, he's down. He's down here on Earth kind of thing. But this person's going to show you the softer side of them. And it might seem strange because they didn't show it to you before it's almost like I always knew it was in there I always knew that you that you felt this way or that you you know that you're a loving person because everyone speaks a different love language you know what I mean and I don't know it's like you could feel it but they didn't show it and this person's gonna show it and you're gonna go what wait holy crap um yeah because I just I don't this person needed time. It's been it's been a minute. Whoever this is that's returning, you haven't spoken to them in a while. It could be months to years. I don't know how long it is, but it's a while. They needed time for themselves to get their life figured out, just to figure themselves out. That's what it feels like. Because this person wears a mask around everyone. It's not just you. This person probably left you waiting. And I feel like, I feel like they now know if they ever thought that you were sitting there waiting, pining over them, they now know that you're not. 
because they could have thought that you were. Like, oh, you'll always circle back around. You're, um, you're going to always be waiting for this, this specific person and you're not. Maybe you did for a little while, but I don't know. Because it always feels like somebody coming in and being like, hey, I'm here. And hoping that you'll be really excited and you're just going to be like, okay, why? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you want? What do you need? Kind of thing. Well, they definitely want to grow with you. They want to work together with you. Um, this person was very self-focused. And I feel like you're very self-focused as well. And that was probably for the best in this situation because you both grew um, in unfertile ground. I feel like the situation's growing in unfertile ground. Like this coming together. This person wants to make peace with you. Because this isn't just like keep the peace. This is I want to apologize and make peace with you. I don't... I don't want to be your enemy. I don't, I don't want problems. I would rather have you in my life and be friends with you or whatever this is versus be at each other's throats. And you know what I mean? Cause I feel like you're not really someone that I don't feel like you're vindictive and cruel or anything, but you're not someone people don't want to be on your bad side. Because your good side's so much nicer. You know what I mean? It's like even if you don't do anything to another person when you're pissed at them or you're mad at them or you hate them or whatever, um, you don't lash out, but they don't get the, the positive benefits. You know what I mean? So if you're very loyal, if you give good advice, if, if you're a very generous, giving, kind-hearted person, they miss out on all of that if they're your enemy, you know, if they, if they aren't on your good side. So I feel like this person, the positive benefits outweigh the negative and they miss you because it's not just what you can do for them. It's just, you're, you're a good person. You're nice. I don't know. Like you genuinely care about whoever this person is and they, they're seeing that you were being genuine. They're seeing that that you really did care and that they didn't. It's almost like having an opportunity to to make a best friend. You know what I mean? Like whether it's someone of the same sex or opposite sex, it doesn't matter. Just it's like the opportunity is there to have a lifelong friendship with someone. Um, whether it turns to more or not, you know what I mean? But it's just it's like I let the good one go and listen to all the shitty people. It's like holding on to all the toxic people, unhealthy people, people you can't fucking trust, and letting go the one true blue. You just like somebody let go of you and you're a true blue, and they're seeing it because they didn't they didn't think you were before. Um, probably because they were around a bunch of phony balonies or something. But your energy is just peaceful, is what I want to say. have a lot of fun with you you make me laugh I don't know the stuff's just popping in my head and I keep staring at the word friendship so this is either a friendship that could turn to more or it's just somebody who wants to rekindle a friendship like I really enjoy your company kind of thing I can be myself around you and I don't feel like I can be myself with just anyone. That's how this person feels because like I said, they were wearing a mask before and they want to show you the softer side of themselves. They want to take the mask off. Um, I have no clue what this means in this energy, but I heard the word dung beetle. Aren't Those are the ones that roll like poop balls around, don't they? <laughs> I did, um, but, <clears throat> I don't know if it's if it's actually a dung beetle or if it's like a diff there's a different name for this beetle, but it's a similar one. And ancient Egyptians would put them on like they would make medallions out of them and stuff. Like they would draw the the beetle. I can't remember what the name of the beetle was, but it I can't remember if it has to do with protection or not. I'll have to look it up again. But it was a very significant symbol to the ancient Egyptians. 
because those beetles were very hard workers. Like they, they always carried their shit around with them, pushing their shit around, just saying, um, actually pushing other people's shit around. But I just heard get prepared. Get prepared for what? So whatever that means to you, it could be a significant sign for some of you. Complacent, sitting still, content, proud. Lightning is significant because there's two cards that I've seen with lightning on them now. Um, you know, like thunder's the warning. It's letting you know that lightning's gonna strike. But that feels like information. Um, there's something to do with lace. It's either like um, a lace, lace underwear, or garment, something to do with lace or laces, like shoelaces so, or boot laces. Maybe somebody needs to replace their laces or there's just a significance with laces. I just heard you'll know exactly what that is. There's also a significant place that's tied to whoever this past person is. So I don't know if it's a place that you two connected at, like you went to this location uh, uh, together or that it just makes you think of them kind of thing. Regardless of the other person though, if this isn't going on for you, it's going on for them. There's, there's a significant place where someone frequents. They go there a lot. Um, or you did go there a lot. Yeah, there's a place. There's a place that you went a lot. There's there's a couple places that you would frequent. And that's very significant with this. Even if you didn't see that person there. Hmm. Yeah, you probably didn't see that person there because we have afraid and antisocial. So this person was definitely very withdrawn and not socializing with you um, whenever the hell this was, whatever this is. There's also a significance with a fucking tent. I picked up on that before a while ago, but I don't know if it has to do with camping. You know, you there's a tent, whatever the tent is, but it feels like a literal tent. Like a camping tent or something. Um, I'm still hosting this. Okay. There's something that someone's hosting. I don't know if it's a party, a gathering or what, but somebody is hosting something. I'm still hosting this. I've been hosting this for years. So this is something, I don't know if it has to do with this other person or not, or if it has to do with you or whatever this is, but somebody is a host, you know, like for Thanksgiving or any holiday when you're the one that makes the dinner and invites everyone over or you throw the party, it could be a New Year's Eve party, could be something it could be something to do with the fourth of july because of fireworks but they do fireworks on new year's eve too depending on where you are and whatever but regardless there's someone in this energy who is a host and they do this every year so there's a gathering a party family reunion a, a fucking something that someone hosts every single year and they're still hosting they still do it I don't know why that's significant, but I guess it is for some of you. All right, so let's see. You might connect with this person at this gathering or at this place because, I don't know, I don't feel like it's a place that you usually go or that could have already happened. Um, you could have connected with this person at, at a party or something or at a gathering at somebody's home. They could have connected with you at your home. 
or you the, uh, theirs buy the book. I just heard I got to do this the right way. So there's some changes that need to be made in someone's life because they, they don't want to screw something up. They want to they want to do things by the book. So, you know, if they have a home situation that they need to work through, you know, whether it's uh, ending a relationship or just their, their living situation, whatever it is, because it could be a million and one things. This person's trying to keep their ducks in a row and... Um, handle business and handle things so that when they do connect with you it's the right time it's it's almost like the perfect storm do you know what I mean like all right I got all this shit taken care of now I can focus now I can think about this now now I have time someone took a long time to get their shit together just breathe everything will work out if there's a funky home situation going on don't worry it'll work out um, just breathe through the bullshit. So if there's any animosity just popped in my head or issues at home, you know, whether it's with your spouse, if you have one or if you're with anyone, um, or just family or just, you know, finances, whatever it is, it's just like stay calm within the storm, basically. Just keep doing what you need to do. It's almost like all the kinks will work will work themselves out uh, naturally in this situation because there's kind of a funky home situation. Message in a bottle. Just breathe. Someone's going to get a message and it's going to upset them. I said that. What, what did I say? Keep your composure or don't lose control or something in the beginning. I can't remember, but yeah, stay centered. Some information's coming in. Has something to do with a book. A book could be significant. I don't know what that book is. Might even be a spiritual book because it's right next to Breathe, which is like meditation and stuff like that. But Boo, like a ghost. A Boo book? <laughs> a ghost book? So it could have something to do with paranormal activity or anything like that. I don't know. It could even be your own channeled messages and stuff. Um... <coughs> I just heard Boo is at home. Is that somebody's name or something? Their nickname? But the ghost is home. The ghost is at home. Okay. The ghost is at home eating. <laughs> okay. So during the day, um, if this person doesn't work from home, they might go home for lunch. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's lunchtime. I'm going to drive home and eat. Um, or they work from home and they obviously eat at home. There's someone that, that, that goes home to eat. And with that boo energy, it's making me think of like someone in the shadows. You don't see ghosts, you know what I mean? But they see you. person could just be paying attention, which is kind of, I don't know, it feels weird for some reason. It feels like whoever this is probably shouldn't be paying attention. They need to just focus on themselves. I just heard I'm hungry. Someone's hungry. We have the nine of swords reversed. I feel like you're not worried about Whatever this is. Some of might have thought your house or their house was haunted. Um, it's not. If you are very spiritual, you might be haunted. You know what I mean? So, like, if you're a medium, they, they're around you no matter where you are. But even if you're not, I feel like there's... There could have been a few instances where somebody got scared. Because they thought that spirit was doing something, but a person was doing it. Or people. One or more people it's boo you know like someone who is pretending someone who's trying to scare you in your own home but I feel like you're not worried about it <laughs> so if you were scared of this situation that were, might be where the heartbreak is and stuff but if you were scared of the situation you're not worried about it anymore um yeah I don't know some fucking weird scare tactic in here 
from a king of pentacles reverse yeah this person's not stable i just heard this person spends a lot of money too like this person's frivolous with their finances okay and that's under by the book this person definitely didn't do something by the book um they didn't do what they should have been doing. This person's focus was in the wrong area is what it looks like because they're not stable. Whoever they are, they're trying to work on themselves and potentially their finances, but what is that? Because it, if anyone was spying on you, lurking in the background, anything like that, it could be an earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn. Someone who's not in the best headspace. They're just not in the best space because I feel like they're just not stable. Physically, mentally, or emotionally. Just saying. This person was acting. I keep staring at the damn book. I don't know. Like the word book. I just heard I read your book so if any of you are writers and you wrote a story whether you finished it or not this person read read your book they read your story and if you're not a writer and it's just messages and shit like that um, or whatever you wrote down a journal even this person read it that's how they knew certain things person read your book I whatever the book is um, the six of wands just breathe through this I feel like whatever the situation was whatever happened to you like because someone did cause problems we'll just leave it at that I feel like there's fear in here like somebody's trying to evoke fear causing issues and just being a fucking dick bag is what it feels like um, could have been multiple people even but this king of pentacles was a cocksucker um, I feel like you just kind of, it is what it is. You went with the flow and you breathe through the bullshit and you've successfully come out on the other side. But I feel like you'll be successful in this situation either way because something's coming back up. That's why this is even here because the past is returning. Just breathe. Whatever this is, is not going to, like history isn't going to repeat itself with this person or with anyone else. Like... If somebody hurt you and fucked with your head or did anything like that, they're not going to do that again. They might apologize for it. Maybe that's why the spirit is saying, like, keep your composure, keep your cool. Because um, something that someone did something and it's coming out. Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone's going to say something really freaking fast. But it's weird because this feels like a long awaited message comes in. But it comes in out of nowhere and it's just like, whoa, whoa. Well, it's not expecting to hear from you kind of thing. I thought you'd have your emotions and, and all this shit bottled up forever. No, something's coming in really fast. Information's coming in really fast. A phone call, a text, or something. You're going to hear about whatever this is. Lickety split. Yeah, someone's going to take this opportunity to say something. Because there could be liquid courage here as well because I just saw the word bottle. Um, bottle and sage. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Sage could be significant. Cleansing, all that crap, or someone's name. But... Bottle. Liquid courage. That's what it feels like. Yeah, someone's going to get liquid courage. It, it's like when you don't think about talking to somebody, or maybe you do off and on, and then all of a sudden you have a few drinks, and you're like, ah, fuck it. And then you talk to them. Yeah, someone's just going to spur of the moment, take an opportunity to say something. But you, I feel like you will literally speak to this person. Like, it's not going to be a missed call or 
this person isn't going to ignore you or you're not going to ignore them. Like, this is going to be a, all right, I have enough courage to say this. I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to message. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Hoods are to be continued. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's going to take an opportunity to say something. There could be... Like, there could be distance between you and this person, but water is significant. So, I don't know if it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, if that's you, them, you have it in your chart, whatever. But it feels like a body of water is significant. So, it could be a pond, a lake, the ocean, whatever. Water is significant. Water is significant to me. Because I'm seeing the word me. Or it could be Maine. That's the the abbreviation for the state of Maine, but for some reason, Seattle, Washington might be significant for some of you, or just Washington. Hmm. That makes me think of like the government and stuff. I know it's a state, but. Somebody going on vacation? I'm going to see like the state house and stuff like that because I don't know, that's kind of what just popped in my head. I don't know why that's significant in this, but for someone it could be, I don't know. Um, I just heard you're going there, aren't you? You're going to go there. Is someone gonna go is somebody gonna go to your house or are they gonna go some someone's gonna go by water. Could be a pawn, she's sitting on a fucking lily pad and stuff, but are you really gonna go there? There's also something significant to do with a computer. Are you really gonna go there? Give me more on that. Somebody might be asking this person that or you. Like, are you really going to go see so-and-so? Are you really going to do this? Are you really going to go there? Are you going to go to that place? Judgment. Are you really going to go there? Yeah, someone's made a final judgment. They've made a decision. Wherever someone's questioning, like, are you really going to do this? Yeah, this person's already made up their mind. It's just a matter of when. I'm trying to figure out what to say. That's what I just heard. Are you really going to go there? Someone's going somewhere. I don't know. Why does it feel bad? High priestess. And you probably know it. You can feel this person approaching. You know that they're going to say something to you. For some of you, it's just going to be like a phone call. And for others, they're going to literally show up on your doorstep. Are you really going to go there? Yeah, someone's going somewhere. <laughs> um, they're going somewhere significant and you know it. Some of you could be spiritualists or tarot readers, which I do know some of you are who watch me. Um, there's some type of spiritual work here. Are you really going to go there? If anyone did any spiritual hoodoo voodoo crap on you, they're definitely getting karma for that. Um, if they messed with you in a spiritual sense, whether it was magic related or physically messed with you, they're going to pay the price for that. But um, they probably already are. But I feel like for some of you, if you, if you do read tarot and stuff, somebody might make a decision to message you about a reading. It's either they want to talk to you about a reading you already did, you know, you already provided for them, or unless you do it publicly or whatever, or they want one from you. I want to see how this works. I want to see if this works. Message you with a connection. 
to see if you can really pick up on another person, if you can really pick up on them or whatever. This person, they want, I want to see, are you really going to go there? I want to see if this works. Is someone going to like try to be at the same place at the same time as you or leave something for you? Like, like I want to see if you're really going to go over there or, or go wherever the fuck this is. Are you really going to go there? Could be a Virgo or a Leo involved. I want to see if we're connected. Are you really going to go there? You might be questioning it, like, why should I even bother dealing with you because you've held back for so long, like. Hmm, are you really going to go there? You're protected no matter where you end up in this situation. I feel like somebody is afraid to face you because they're, like, they're defensive because they're afraid that you're going to be defensive because of whatever this is, whatever happened. Hierophant. Somebody's learning a very difficult lesson right now. Something significant to do with the paranormal or ghost, because I stared at the ghost in this cup. But the seven of cups was reversed. There's clarity here. This person is like, eh, I don't know if I should provide clarity, but or they received clarity. You're going to receive clarity. You're going to receive clarity. And I'm touching the ghost again, spirit. You're going to get your confirmation. Spirit's going to deliver to somebody, I'm just saying. It might scare the bejeebies out of them. Just, I don't know if it already did, but there's something that is unexplainable. Whatever this is, if somebody's going to go somewhere, if they're going to do whatever the hell they're going to do or say, or whatever this is, spirit is making themselves known. But not in a scary way. I don't feel like you're going to be scared. Like if they're giving you confirmations and stuff and flashing lights and doing all that crap. I don't feel like you're scared of that. Whoever this person is. If they. If seeing is believing. Open your fucking eyes. Because here it is. Like that's what this feels like. Because spirit is going to be like. Hey. You think this is just a bunch of. Crap. I don't know. If someone doesn't believe in something spiritual, and they're gonna start believing. Yeah, they're gonna start believing. Cause there's something significant with a fucking phone. I don't know what the phone thing's about, and the moon. I don't know if it's a secret phone, a secret phone call. You know when this is a very simple like the simplest form of intuition you know what i mean like when you i don't know someone pops in your head and then all of a sudden your phone rings and it's them and you're like oh i knew you were gonna call you popped in my head and then there you are kind of thing that's picking up on um someone spiritually it's picking up on them you know too much but there's a significance with the phone and whatever's on that phone whether it's pertaining to a phone call a text or whatever that's already happened or it's coming up you either you know that that this call is coming in you'll know when you get the phone call like you know this someone's going to say whatever um you'll hear from whoever this is Or there's something significant on someone's phone. I heard both. So there's a call coming up. That could cause problems. Could cause arguments. And fights. I don't know. Just stay centered. Be the bigger person. Yeah, because there's also something on someone's phone. That they're hiding. And you're probably aware of it. I just heard I watch you on my phone. So there's somebody who watches you on their phone. Um, social media. I don't know how the hell they're doing it. Hopefully it's social media. Because that's pretty fucked up if it is. And I picked up on that before too. 
but yeah, just don't get stuck in this negative energy. Because I feel like I'm talking to a peacekeeper, someone who's like, I don't want to cause problems. I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want to say this, do this, whatever, because, you know, I, I don't want to hurt anyone. Whatever is being said, whatever is going to be said, whatever this is, you're not intentionally hurting this person. That's not why, that's not why whatever this is, is coming up and out and whatever. It's, it's to create a level of peace because if you don't stir up the dust a little bit, you'll never clean it out. You know what I mean? So there's a problem that's been, someone's been sitting on a problem for a long time or they've had a lot to say for a long time. And it's like, I'm just not going to say it because I don't want to cause fucking problems, but the problems are already there. So just say it so that you can grow from the situation or so that they can just so that the situation can cease to exist. That's what I just heard. So the situation could cease to exist. So it goes away basically. I just heard I really do love you. That's what someone's hiding as well. They could be hiding their feelings, but I really do love you. What the fuck? I really do love you. I just don't know how to love you. So they probably just don't know how to show something like I don't know. I almost feel like somebody thinks that you expect too much, but you don't expect a damn thing. Like your high maintenance or loving you would be a lot of work, but it isn't because love isn't a lot of work. It isn't hard. It's maintaining relationships that are difficult, that can be difficult, especially when there's problems, you know, like if you've got to deal with life, which don't we all, um, it's how you handle stuff like that that matters. And who's there when the shit hits the fan and who's supportive, you know? Because that's love. The ones that leave you high and dry when you need them the most, that's not love. That's just fucking mean. But anyways, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. This one was kind of a clusterfuck. I don't know. Um, the energy is just weird. Well, we didn't, the, didn't we just have the new moon? last night or is it tonight i don't know we're in that energy and that's all about new phases changes out with the old and with the new there's some cycle that's coming to an end there's some cycle that's coming to an end But it doesn't feel like it's a bad thing. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to go.